This is a very light, fresh, and sweet Korean makeup look. The look that I will be going for in this tutorial is a smooth, glowing skin and a touch of bright lips. Let's begin. I'm starting my skin with a foundation primer. Smooth all over the skin to ensure that my foundation stays longer. Moving along, here's the beauty cushion for my foundation. I love how this foundation makes my skin look glowy, bright, and smooth. Just pat the puff all over the skin to blend the foundation. How can anyone not live without a corrector? I totally need this to correct my severe under eye circle. Then, conceal with a creamy concealer. And now a creamy concealer on top of the corrector. So, what do you think? Glow enough? One more thing. I need to conceal my blemishes. This will ensure a bright, flawless skin. I love this Tarte concealer because it lasts me the whole day. I have very oily skin. So a little loose setting powder could really help to set my foundation in. I'm also using a press and roll motion so that it does not remove my foundation and also to avoid too much friction on the skin. Next is the straight and thick brows. I'm using an eyebrow gel because this will last me all day. Then, I'm using a brow pencil to fill in those gaps. As a base, I'm putting on a layer of bronze cream eyeshadow into the entire lid. Next, I'm going to use a dark bronze eyeshadow to make a soft cat eye, lining only the outer third of the lids closest to the lash line. Then, I'm also shading the lower lash line to give a soft, smoky look. Time to curl those lashes. Make sure you're curling three parts of the lashes for nicely curved lashes. One closest to the lash line, second at the center of the lashes, and lastly the tip of the lashes. Then, apply mascara in black. I 
I tend to use a lash separator to ensure that the mascara does not ruin my eyeshadow. I also find this step helps to separate my lashes and my lashes also tend to look longer. See some difference? To enhance the smoke around my eyes, I'm using a copper eyeliner pencil to line half of the outer corner of the lower lash line. Then, I'm using a dark brown pencil eyeliner to darken the soft cat eye I just did. This will make the eye stand out more. Using a smudger brush, I'm going to soften the eyeliner and join the lines to make a V. Then I'm going back in to the same bronze eyeshadow to darken wherever I need to darken. Going back to the same copper pencil eyeliner, I'm intensifying the soft smoke look. For a highlighter, I'm using a golden pink starting from the lower inner corner of my eyes all the way to the middle to make a soft bronze color transition. Next, I'm using an all over face brightening powder as my pink lit from within blusher for a healthy looking glow. Time to prep the lips. I'm simply using the same BB cushion to pat around my lips. Then I'm applying a coral lip tint starting at the center of the lips, then apply to the rest of the lips. Repeat until I am happy with the intensity of the color on my lips. To make my skin appear glowy, I'm using a soft focus cream highlighter on the higher points of my face. I'm using it at the bridge between my eyes, this will make my skin look like glowing instead of applying along the nose bridge. Then I'm applying to the top of my forehead, this is where my light naturally shines and tend to make my forehead look higher. And then at the center of my philtrum, this will enhance the glowy effect and the shape of my lips to look more plump. Finally, apply some on the chin. Now, for a little contour and warmth on the face, I'm using a matte bronzer to contour the sides of my face.
For my nose, I'm applying a very light amount to the sides of my nose. And then you're done! Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and oh! I have a new Instagram page at pageshem.com. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!